right guys, I'm going to talk about the long run. So, you're getting ready, you've got your gear, you're all sorted, and you know you have to do a few efforts within that long run. Now this long run could be 20k, it could be 30k, it could be 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours. Now, all those can be daunting depending on where you're at and depending on what you're aiming for, what race you're planning to do, what you're targeting. So it's important to break it down, especially if it's out on the trails and you've got uh, hilly terrain or you've got, you know you have to tackle some big climbs. So you need to break it down and adjust it just so you can process it better in the mental aspect. Manage your energy levels so you're not fatiguing, so you're not going out too hard, so you can pace yourself. But a lot of it is getting through the mental barrier. You're going to be on your feet for a long period of time and you can think, oh my god, I'm going to be out there for four hours. And it's, it's a lot of time to think in your head and it's a lot of conversations that will be had in your head as well so it's important to set yourself up so you're ready for it so you might want to have music you might want to have a fueling strategy where you might be having a sip every 10 minutes of your tailwind or whatever fuel you use you might have a, a brownie or a gel or a banana or um, some some little treat, some thing to have every half an hour, so you sort of are only targeting for that 30 minutes. And you might have, yeah, have a playlist with your music set up. You might know the course very well, so you might go, okay, well, I need to get to this section in this time, etc. So it's important to break it down. So you might want to break it down 30 minutes, so you might be doing six 30 minute blocks to make it three hours or five for two and a half hours so then it's just easy to break it down mentally and then you can also pace it out better as well or you know that you're doing a section where you're doing um, full repeats of a climb so you just again all you need to do is break it down one two three four so just mentally breaking it down can help you get through those long sessions because there might be times where you, you don't want to do it and you're going to avoid it and it can be intimidating when you are aiming for those big long runs so plan ahead break it down into sections same as like you would with a climb or a hill you break it down to one section to the section section to the third section just to make it easier so you can hold your pace if you're doing a specific marathon set in, in a long run so you might have uh, three or two 20 minute 30 minute 10 minute efforts break it down again you might want to go for it. that first hour of the run might be nice comfortable easy at your long run pace then you start doing the efforts then when you've done that then you know you've only got 40 minutes or half an hour or an hour to go in the rest of that, that run you might be running for three hours so just break it down, choose a course that will complement that as well to help you break it down. So you might do, um, like I, for instance, if I'm running, I might do from Merriweather to the break wall. I know that's going to take me half an hour. Then I go from Merriweather and do a loop to Carrington. I know it's going to take me half an hour. So I might half an hour to there, then do... Carrington, two laps to Carrington, there you go, there's another, there's another almost hour, by the time I do another 10, 10, 12k, then you run, run to the break wall, and then there's another section, so just mentally break it down into sections, that'll just help you, and make it easier for you, on in those long runs, so tip of the day, hope that helps, thanks a lot.